In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you build your own sound using the Moore GE200 Amp Modeler and Multi Effects Unit. It's a tremendous piece of kit for the money. So, there is a lot of sounds already built in this, and some of them are great, some of them you might not be to your taste, depends what amp you're running through. There's a lot of depth to this unit. So, I'll start from the ground up. So, there's many effects already built in, but you can go to any empty channel and then start building from there. So I started with an empty channel and called it Neck Clean as I've selected my neck pickup. And then from there, I built from the ground up. So you can pick a cab, and this is where this effects unit's a tremendous value for money. Because it's not just limited to the sounds in it. I connected it to a laptop and used Moore's free software to upload an IR. Now an IR is an impulse response, which is basically a wave file of a room. And these are possible to emulate from your favourite albums. So if somebody had made a pack of Metallica IRs, so I like Metallica and I like some of their sounds, so I, p I picked them and downloaded them for free. And then I also found uh, some other packs online just by using Google and searching free IR packs. You download them and put them onto your laptop or computer and then connect the USB cable to it. And using more software you can upload them. And here I've put at least I think 14 different ones in from Battery Stereo which is a Metallica song. Sad But True which I found was tremendous. It was way better than any of the built in ones and it just sounds really full and thick like that song does. Death Magnetic, there's some Steve Vai ones I found online that people had made themselves or maybe were from his uh, rig or uh, from uh, when he was recording albums, he set up his own IRs. Uh, so yeah, you can look online and, and there's literally hundreds and hundreds of them. And if you wanted to go through them all, that's fine. I picked about 20 and then went through my favourite ones. So I picked the Sad But True cab, which even though this is a clean sound, it just sounded tremendous because I'm not having any amp gain. I actually use that on all my distorted sounds as well in this unit. And I'm currently recording into Logic on a Mac, which the GE200 found and recognised straight away. And apparently they're bringing out the editing software for that too, which would be really handy. So then I picked an amp, and you do that by going to the amp, clicking on it and then you can click in each box by pressing select on the value this is like an old iPhone dial really it's like the click wheel so you turn and select and in that way you don't need to have the expense of a touch screen because this basically does everything you'd need to so there's a lot of amps already built in some are very gainy some not so I liked the slow 100 and then I added my own delay. And you do that exactly the same. You click on delay and there's also a chain screen which gives you an old school look at your pedals as if they set out on the floor in front of you. And inside the screen you can click select and also move effects. Which if you have any experience of real pedals, you know, it does a tremendous a lot to the sound. So, if we go back to our play screen, then we can pick which different selects we want for our clean sound. So I picked a nice analogue delay. And if you notice, the feedback is highlighted in yellow. That's because I used another feature of the GE200 called Merge, which I will get into in a second. And that I have picked, so the expression pedal changes the feedback of the delay. So I can have it just going on and on and on for ambient things or between songs perhaps, without actually having to kneel down and press anything or mess with dials. And you can actually assign this to several parameters across several effects, which is basically like having 10 people turn dials on 10 pedals for you. So you can do some things which I don't think have really been done before. But I will get into that later. So my reverb, I picked a nice whole reverb. And then obviously you just go through with your click wheel, selecting and changing to your own preference. Right, so I ended up on my play screen. With 
with a nice chimey clean sound and if you remember I'd assigned the expression pedal to affect feedback and that'll just go cleanly and then you can just take it down a bit until you find that sweet spot where it doesn't start to oscillate and it just stays going really nice for you then when it pedals on the floor if you double press it goes to the looper function so we'll start a loop going turn down the delay feedback on my live sound and it also has a reverse function so I've started the loop in reverse and then I'll go back to my play screen and then I can change sounds which isn't affected reverse as it's live with the reverse loop underneath. I also built another one with the inbuilt violin sound. It's basically a, a boss slow engine and it does some sort of gain and volume increase automatically. And I really like this sound as it gives it a backwards feel as the loop's going backwards. And we can also go back into our loop and play the loop at half speed. Either forward or backwards. So that's a reversed half speed loop of the ambient noises I made at the start. And then we could go into a distorted sound and and I have the reverb is on my expression pedal so I can have a completely dry for a gent type tone right through to putting reverb to half level so we'll go back to our play screen double click turn half speed off turn reverse off and we're back smoothly into our loop and I, you can either pick whether up or down selects the preset automatically or you can tell it to be a control function so you can cycle through presets and then press select but I use a lot of delays so I've kept my select that selects the sounds up and down automatically and this is a tap tempo so I'm gonna play for a while and let you hear some of the sounds
So the expression pedals doing both the delay level and the reverb level. But you can select it to do 10 at once or anything you want. You can select it to be changing EQ. It's, it's incredible. So I hope that's given you some ideas. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.